Hello, uh, this is Painting One, our oil painting project. Um, so in this, pro in this class, in this project, um, you are going to be actually doing like five different paintings. Um, so don't let that freak you out. Um, it's not that bad. The size of the painting is, is like this. Um, it is a five by seven. Um, so they're pretty small. Um, it's more to um, really kind of get you to have, you know, to ease yourself into oil painting because for some students, they can be very stressful um, and others, um, you know, they just, they take it, you know, um, they take to it just like um, oil to water. <laughs> no, um, some, like any, like any project, some students love it and some students hate it. Um, the part about oil painting that's absolutely fantastic is that it takes a longer time for the paint to dry. Um, and so what, is, what, is that, what does that mean or why is that an advantage? Um, and looking at your past project with your acrylic painting, um, I noticed that some people in their discussion boards um, when they were kind of talking about it, one of the frustrations they had is they were doing like a lot of the background and then they wanted to go back and blend, you know, more yellow or white into an area to lighten up. And they couldn't because it was already dry. Um, acrylic paint um, is, is, is a water-based paint um, and it dries super fast. Um, oil paint um, is, is weird uh, because originally oil paint had things in it like linseed oil, um, which might have been its base. And it, it takes, um, depending on how thick you have it, um, can take a few weeks for it to dry um, kind of thing. And if it's mixed, not poorly, but if it's, it's, if it's not mixed um, equally, um, there are paints that are like 100 years old you know, that you got to be careful with it because they're still tacky um, uh, and everything. So you just, you got to be careful with it. Um, and then, you know, you can put sealers on there, but the moment you put a sealer on, then it doesn't, it doesn't dry because it still needs air and oxygen, as this video will explain, to help break that down. Now, at the same time, um, technology changes. Um, the oil paint that we have in our class, um, which is over by the door, um, it's our red colored section. Um, it says oil paint on top of it. You can't miss it. Um, well, I don't think you can miss it. And that is actually a water-based oil paint. Um, they have some sort of a modified oil on there that um, isn't as hazardous. Um, and you can mix water to thin it down. Because um, regular oil paint, um, you can't mix water with it. It, 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 it. it doesn't, like you think of oil, like if you put... Um, like oil in a car or cooking oil, and you put that any of that in water, you know, it, it doesn't mix. It just stays as these like globs. Um, uh, so, so a traditional oil painting, we have to use um, chemicals like uh, like maybe terpenoid, um, mineral spirits. Uh, we use uh, something called uh, safflower oil um, to help um, thin it out a little bit or make it run um, easier. Um, and then cleaning, you can't clean in a sink. Uh, you have to use the the mineral spirits or like a paint thinner to to clean your brush out, and then you have to use soap uh, to clean it, and then you can run it in water, and then you're done. It's just a big process, um, and some people like that process. Um, I don't. <laughs> um, I think it, it takes forever, and and that's always the biggest complaint. You know, when I have students doing uh, traditional oil painting, is just they can't dip their brush in water and and just clean it. You know, but it's this lengthier process. Um, there is kind of a debate about, you know, whether traditional oil painting or this newer water-based oil paints are better. Um, I'm sure if you are a diehard artist, you would probably go back to the traditional because there are lots of different oils um, you can use to mix in with your oil painting that will give you different effects. Now, acrylic paints have the same thing um, called mediums um, that we don't get into a whole lot. But like, like anything else, the more you learn about it, the more you realize that there's a lot of different things that are involved with it. Um, but ours are water-based. Um, we have a special um, fluid that we are kind of experimenting with a little bit. So you might have some, you might not. Um, I don't have a ton of it. Um, and just like if you were 100% virtual, you might not have that because I can't give you everything that we have here um, because of, of the cost or of cost of, of trying to um, work with it. And we'll get into another project um, called a batik um, that we'll have to do an alternate way of, of doing it because I can't. I can't necessarily send hot wax with you um, kind of thing. So 
we might get to a point where um, where we can like afford or be able to kind of get that. And this will be the first year um, if 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 you're watching this in 2020 or 2021 um, that every student is going to have this um, this this fluid. Um, and but previous years, because um, we've done this project a couple times now, we just used water, um, and it wasn't a it wasn't a big difference. Um, I'm trying, we're trying something new, so we'll see if how that works out. So you might have to ask me about that, but if you're hundred percent virtual, um, I don't know if, if I can get that, get that to you. So we will, we will try. Um, you might have to do it like we usually do, which is using just water. Um, okay. Getting back to the, the project here. Um, you're going to watch this video. Um, it talks about fat over lean. Um, and it, it goes into why, um, oil paintings crack. Um, it goes into why they, um, if you use it too thick, um, it can take a long time for it to dry. Um, so you need to, when you do oil paintings, you need to be a little more conscious about how thick your oil is uh, when you when you put it on and how you work with your own layers, you know, of that. Um, and we just kind of kind of go go from there. Um, I do feel like our water-based oil paints do dry um, faster, which is which is good um, because I want you to work on it. And then come back in 24 hours and have it mostly dry so you can put another layer on. I don't want you to feel like you have to wait a week. Um, but that's why we do these miniature ones um, is because um, if, you, if, if, if you come back the next day and it's still wet, you can go to a different one and then come back. And maybe at that point, a day or two later, um, it might be dry enough. You can kind of continue with it. Okay. So this is like a five mini painting assignment. Um, and there's five themes. Okay. Um, one is um, a fruit or vegetable. Um, so it's kind of a still life. Um, you can look something up online or um, if you kind of in, intend to go into art as a career, um, they really do push you drawing from life a lot more. Um, so I would encourage you to do that because anything you copy from the internet, you cannot use on an art portfolio because it's not yours. Um, you practice techniques, but it's not your design. And, and admissions from colleges, for our colleges especially, they want to see your own creativity, how your eye can pick something out, you know, in, in, a, in an arrangement or a composition. Um, if you have absolutely no no desire to go into art as a career or become a designer, then then you can find something off online and that's perfectly fine as well. Um, so a fruit or vegetable, um, it's, it's very traditional. Um, the wonderful self-portrait. Um, you guys are all always, you know, taking photos of yourself. So dig back through your phone um, and see if you can find uh, a photo that you like. Um, if you are a senior or something and you have, you know, senior pictures, um, you can work on that if you wanted to. Um, next one are is kind of like the landscape. Um, and again, if you have gone on a vacation, you know, and you've taken pictures or you might have a picture of the M, everybody wants a picture of the M in Platteville um, and do a painting of that. Um, there could be one of your Christmas presents. Um, you can uh, do some sort of a landscape. So to me, a landscape is where you have land, landscape, um, and you have sky. So you should have both. Um, and then like in this one, it's more of an, like, a, like an African kind of a theme because of the, the, the tree, which is traditional um, of, that, um, of that part of the world. Um, you should have something involved with that. So could you have a self-portrait as a landscape? Yeah, you could, because you could have a background right below there or right behind the person. So, so there's ways you can kind of, kind of do what you want to do. Um, if you feel like, well, I'm not sure if that's exactly what he's looking for. Um, shoot me um, a picture of it, and I can say, yeah, that's perfect. Or like, yeah, you're probably right. This is kind of pushing it. Um, can you find something better um, on that? Or if I say, and I usually try to say, if you really want to do that, then then you definitely can. However, I do have a choice column over here. I'll get to in a minute. Um, so this is choice copy. Actually, I have two choices, um, and choice original. So choice copy is where um, I do want you to have some sort of a photo reference, whether you take it or you find it online, and then you just kind of work from it. Um, the choice original is that this one, I do want it to be 100% yours. Okay, so you paint from a photo that you have taken, and in real small words right there, I said, or friend, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, cousin, et cetera. Um, but you must know the person, okay? Um, and have their permission. Obviously, they would say it's fine um, because because I do want you, um, even if you're just taking the class for fun, um, I do want you to try to start finding about who you are um, as as an artist. Because even though even though I might not get a job as as an art teacher or as an artist or a designer or whatever, um, we are all still artists. 
you know, um, and we all still have things that uh, that we're pulled towards. We all have things that um, that that when we paint, hopefully it can be relaxing. Um, and understand that painting is also very frustrating, but it's also very relaxing. It's kind of therapeutic um, if you if you can kind of go in the right mindset on that. Um, and I just want you to I want you to try to move beyond the internet and Pinterest um, because because I want to see what you come up with, you know, um, and and just kind of kind of go from there. And 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 that's kind of my favorite because that that is that is one hundred percent you. Um, so you can copy all you want on the other ones, um, but on this last one here. Um, um, I do want to kind of see what what you can actually come up with, not what Sally Six Shooter came up with, you know, on some uh, Deviant Art website or something like that. So grading wise, they're all pretty equal. Um, they're all eight points a piece. Um, so forty points, uh, uh, which is eighty percent of your grade, is just your paintings, um, and then the rest of it um, is just about you uploading them individually um, onto our Sonia and just kind of writing about each one of them. <clears throat> um, other than that, um, I might have um, come other um, some other videos and, and actually demonstrate all these, but I might not because this is this is just straight up the kind of going off the acrylic painting. It's just you just have a lot more time on 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 going in and actually um, on mixing the colors. So if I have time, I'll do um, like a time lapse video on that. And if I don't, um, there really is no other technique that I'm going to be teaching with this at all um, that you haven't learned already um, with your acrylic painting. So um, we've done all the, the the shading and the and the tinting and the dulling of colors and the color wheel. And if you want, <laughs> if you want, I guess I could have you redo all those sheets again in oil paint um, if it makes you feel better. Um, otherwise, um, you kind of you kind of learn just by doing, you know, on this one. So so same things apply, you know, um, I'm looking for you mixing colors, looking for those transitions, looking for those highlights and those shadows and and just the, the wonderful art that you already make. So good luck on the assignment. And um, 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 I, I do make sure just like your acrylic painting that you do um, uh, paint it white first, you know, with acrylic paint. Um, and then make sure that one is a little uh, not thicker, but that you try to smooth it off the best you can and, and you don't see any of the wood showing. Um, because these are also five by seven, they fit inside frames, um, photo frames. So you are not going to make a wooden frame for this at all. You're not putting a wooden back on there or anything like that. This is something if you get done with it, you can go to Dollar Tree and buy a simple five, you know, one dollar five by seven frame um, and hang it up or put it on, on your desk. So other than that, I'll stop talking because I'm going to ramble and email if you may have any questions. Thanks.